with new development in the murder of a two-year-old Kensington girl. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Jessica is off tonight. Police have a second suspect in custody in connection to the death of little Nicolette Rivera. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is at police headquarters with new information about that suspect. Greg? And Yuki police sources confirmed to Eyewitness News that second suspect is 25 years old and in just the past few hours he has confessed to being the shooter in the murder of two year old Nicolette Rivera. I think when a two year old and an 11 month old can be shot on the street in their car seat and in their home, something is very, very wrong. And so this group of religious and community leaders making another passionate plea to end the gun violence in Philadelphia. People are just so tired and angry and frustrated. This gathering Wednesday evening comes during major developments in the murder case of two-year-old Nicolette Rivera. The toddler shot and killed in her mother's arms at their home on Kensington's Water Street this past Sunday, struck in the head by flying bullets, detectives say, fired by a man armed with an AK-47. Tuesday evening, investigators arrested 30 year old Freddie Perez in Chester. Acting Police Commissioner Christine Coulter explains his possible motive. The child's father was not home at the time, but we believe that that's where the beef was with, you know, the suspect and the child's father. Wednesday evening, crime scene detectives combing through this home on Banbury Street, where police arrested a second suspect on unrelated charges. Sources tell Eyewitness News that man is 25 years old. He's confessed to being the shooter, driven to the Water Street home by Perez in this gray sedan. We are not going to give in to the hopelessness that we're hearing from so many people, but to be together and to pledge to honor these lives with action and to say not one more. Now, Yuki, that second suspect has not yet been formally charged and therefore his name not yet released. I'm live here at Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Greg, thank you.